Welcome to the Apple Daily News. This podcast is created by Generative AI. Today is August 7th, 2024. Links to all stories can be found in the episode notes. Let's start with an insightful analysis on macOS and firmware updates. Apple typically supports each macOS version for one year of updates, followed by two years of security updates. However, the support duration for Mac firmware remains ambiguous. Historical data indicates that Intel Macs without T2 chips have generally received firmware updates for at least eight years. Interestingly, models introduced before 2012 show a significant gap in firmware support, with some receiving their last updates as early as June 2019. For Macs with T2 chips and Apple Silicon, firmware updates are likely to continue until the model is no longer supported by macOS updates. This analysis underscores the importance of understanding firmware support timelines for Mac users. In a significant ruling in the antitrust case United States v. Google, Judge Amit Mehta highlighted Google's dominance in the search engine market. A key point was the multi-billion dollar contract that makes Google the default search engine for Apple's Safari browser. Apple's Eddie Q emphasized that no price could convince Apple to switch to Bing, as Google is seen as the only viable option. The contract, renewed in 2021, involves Google paying Apple a substantial percentage of its ad revenue, which reached $20 billion in 2022. The ruling also noted that platforms like TikTok and Amazon do not compete with Google as general search engines. Judge Meta dismissed the notion that AI could soon disrupt the search engine market, reinforcing Google's monopolistic power. Apple has released developer betas for macOS 15.1, featuring new generative AI capabilities announced at WWDC. Users have found back-end instructions for Apple intelligence features within the beta, similar to those in tools like Microsoft Bing and Doll E. These instructions, which cannot be altered, provide insights into how Apple's AI models operate. For example, a helpful mail assistant AI is programmed to ask questions based on email content, enhancing the smart reply feature. The AI's rewrite feature includes strict guidelines to avoid hallucinations or fabricated information. These discoveries shed light on the mechanics of Apple's AI tools and their intended functionalities. In related news, testers of Apple's new AI features in the macOS Sequoia beta have uncovered plain text JSON files containing instructions to guide the behavior of the generative AI technology. These files include prompts designed to ensure the AI remains helpful and accurate, avoiding common pitfalls like factual inaccuracies. The Apple Intelligence features are set to launch in beta this fall, with some functionalities available early, and others, like an updated Siri, expected next year. These prompts provide insight into Apple's approach to ensuring its AI remains focused and reliable. Apple has introduced a new homomorphic encryption, HE library for its Swift programming language, allowing developers to perform basic calculations on encrypted data. This enhances privacy in app development, aligning with similar initiatives by Microsoft and IBM. Apple's library focuses on fundamental operations like addition and multiplication, but requires cryptographic expertise for more complex applications. In contrast, Roseman Labs offers a Python library supporting a broader range of computations, including advanced functions like text search and machine learning primitives. This development highlights Apple's commitment to enhancing privacy in app development. NVIDIA has introduced a new service that allows developers to control humanoid robots using the Apple Vision Pro headset. This initiative aims to simplify the development and control of humanoid robots. NVIDIA's suite of tools includes NIM microservices and frameworks for simulation and learning, as well as the NVIDIA Osmo orchestration service for managing multi-stage robotics tasks. The Mimic Gen NIM microservice enables users to control robots by translating movements from the Apple Vision Pro into robotic actions. This integration allows users to visually monitor and control robotic movements, making the interaction more intuitive. Apple has seemingly discontinued its USB SuperDrive, a device introduced in 2008 for reading CDs and DVDs. The SuperDrive is no longer available for purchase on the official Apple Store in the US, where it is marked as sold out. Despite its discontinuation in the US, the SuperDrive remains available in some other countries, but it is expected to be phased out globally soon.
The move reflects a broader trend, as optical drives have become less common in modern computing. Apple's recent quarterly results showcased a record $24.2 billion in services revenue, contributing to a total profit of $21.4 billion. While the company experienced flat growth in most product categories, a notable increase in iPad sales was attributed to new product introductions. The services segment, which includes Apple Music, Apple TV+, App Store revenue, and Google Payments, has become a significant profit driver. Despite the impressive growth in services, Apple remains fundamentally a hardware company, with its products still generating substantial revenue. This balance between hardware and services revenue is crucial for Apple's business model. Apple has introduced its new AI-driven writing tools as part of Apple Intelligence, available in iOS 18 and macOS Sequoia, aiming to compete with established services like Grammarly. While Apple Intelligence offers features such as proofreading and rewriting text, it lacks some of the inline correction capabilities that Grammarly provides. Apple Intelligence is currently limited to Apple devices with M-series chips and the iPhone 15 Pro or later, while Grammarly is available across multiple platforms. This development highlights Apple's efforts to enhance writing assistance for its users. The comparison between the iPhone 15 Pro and a manufacturer model reveals significant differences in performance as measured by Geekbench scores. The iPhone 15 Pro achieved a single core score of 2942, outperforming the manufacturer model's score of 2084. However, in multi-core performance, the manufacturer model led with a score of 88840 compared to the iPhone 15 Pro's 73372. This comparison highlights the strengths of each device in different computing scenarios. That's all for today's episode of the Apple Daily News. Be sure to check the episode notes for links to all the stories we covered. Join us again tomorrow for more updates on everything Apple. Have a great day.